Hey. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. Good afternoon. So glad you could be joining us today for the first of two streams, uh, our live coverage of the MVS SEA Fall 2020 Valorant League. My name is Jerry, my partner here is Michael, and we have the pleasure of bringing you today the first of today's clashes, uh, Burn Creek versus Vancouver College. Right, and it's all going down on the map bind. Hope streams aspirations for this clash, Jerry. Well, not necessarily. I think that both of these teams are quite well matched. Um, definitely a balance of both sides. But all of the players are definitely um, working equally on each of these sides. And I think it's just a matter of which individuals show up here and uh, what the teams have prepared together, right? If they've gone through Choose numerous practice agent. sessions, if they have had you know time to develop some strategies, maybe that could be an uh, influencing factor for this, the course of this game. Um, if one player is feeling particularly crisp today, maybe that is also an influencing factor. But I just really think that it's going to be just a matter of the particular game, the game at hand, and also um, which individuals show up. Yeah. You know, we have, once again, we see Vert on the Killjoy. We've seen Vert play this before and, you know, worked some wonders with this agent. And I really hope to see that Odin again. Right as we hop into the first mat, uh, the first round of the game, excuse me, you'll see on green on your team, the defense is going to be Burn Creek and Vancouver College going to be on red on your screen. They are attackers and looks like it's going to be an early alien here. Probably looking to get some information. Look at how Burn Creek will be playing as we move forward into the next portions of this map. Looks like Jet's gonna be off on our own to do a lurk. Scouting out for information. Probably not gonna overcommit. And yeah, just going back towards the A-side, grouping up with their teammates. Nothing given away so far as they work their way into the A-site. Smoke to slow them down, they will respect it, they won't push through it. And there's a mass TP over to the B site. Cypher and Phoenix know what's coming, but they can't really prepare. One good pick from the Reyna. Just already on site, I don't know if they know that. Cypher, both kills on the site taken down. The Reyna's behind, I think they know. They do know, but it's not good enough. Reyna does get the pick and is able to get the heal off. And now it's now a 2v1, excuse me. Phoenix. Thrown into the 2v1 by himself. The flash not good enough, and Rain is going to take the third pick. Close out the round. First one for Burn. Yeah, that was a pretty clean round. VC trying to go A at first, duck into that TP. And it almost worked, but unfortunately, they just did get flanked, and I think that's one of the key factors there for. Time, uh, VC is going to opt to once again actually push A. Not finding much yet, but this flank from Reyna could prove instrumental. Mm -hmm. VC completely not expecting this at all. Maybe. Un Ooh. First pick, second pick. Two powerful picks by that flank. And now VC is just thrust into having to push B. Few defenders hot on their tail. So far kept out of sight. And at this point they're oh, no going to be yet. sandwiched. They found my wire. First one going down. And all oh. the rest of them cleaned up quickly. Second round. Yeah, that should have been a burn creek round all the way, and they have closed it out. We're able to take the weapon advantage and really run with it. 
second on the road board for them. And we do apologize for the beginning of that round. We had a bit of technical difficulties. And we are back now. Thank God. As we jump into the third round here. Again, I'm seeing the same kind of setup from Burn Creek. Not willing to change anything just yet. <laughs> the camera not really working out. Being straight at the sky, but... Doesn't get the Morijin not able to get the recon bolt right in time. Is having to shoot it out and pull, pull back further into defensive position. Chaos is here to get the pick once the smoke fades, but no one's gonna be pushing him just yet. Maybe just to work, maybe just to make some noise. As the bomb actually aggresses into A. They're trying to sell the fake into B, I believe. Three players here, but this could get costly for them. They will rotate the bomb over to B, so it looks like a B execute at this point. Cypher's location is still undetermined. So is Phoenix. He's sitting right here. This could this, it could be huge if he's able to, to get the timings right in his head. He pushes. He's pushing to Kuka. And of them, no. Oh, able to more reach in. Able to get the instant trade. Not even a trade, sorry. Just instantly closing that out, and they're able to play a plant down at the very least. 4 one, two Spike now. Planted. Definitely a winnable Nine round, but it's going to be quite difficult. Chaos is able to get one, but it's thrust into a 1v2. Oh. And a Mori Chin, wow. That was a crisp round from him. Yeah, that was a really nice shot at the end there to close out that round. First on the board for VC. They did have, you know, an advantage though. They were able to... God, they did it look like a fake to you at the beginning? Because it almost I, looked like a fake. I'm not really sure. They they were they were playing with that information a little bit. They were kind of selling the rotates. They were kind of you know maintaining a presence towards A site, but it was nicely played in the end. All all the players able to get back towards the B site to group up for an execute. Yeah, and it looks like once again they're gonna push it. Well, fast in chaos, like getting that early info. It looks like all the players have been revealed. However, this Phoenix in bathrooms may get caught. Oh, two, three, sorry. Early picks. Oh, and does get caught by a regular. Trading back for a 2v4 scenario. Oh, another nice pick from a regular. <laughs> Did not expect that one coming. Down to a 2v3. VC going to try everything in their power to pull this back. Bomb rotating over to B, it looks like. And at this point, a regular is probably just going to have to keep the players on A, keep some oh, pressure here. And okay. look, no look at all three players are here. It's worked. Yeah, that, that strategy has worked. But there is not even expecting that. It is true, there is tripwires and a camera Player there. Banding. Oh, nice shot from Chaos on to a regular. But the last player is on B. Wow, At the very least, out. VC should be able to get a plant down. Left. Yeah. Rotate's coming in from all sides at this point. At this point, you know, he's gonna have to pull something. And unfortunately not, Xeno with a nice shot onto Vert, closing out the round. Yeah, I mean, if you're Vert there, that's not a situation you want to be in. You're trapped in the... You're trapped in the, um... And the container on site, and you can't really get out, right? You have to take that time to take off that, uh, take off that uh, spy cam dart, and that's really just that 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 bought the time for the players to be able to rotate, to be able to get onto site and know her location. And at that point, you needed to get that first pick on the phoenix. If that pick had gone down, maybe there was a chance. But again, they were completely polar opposites, 180 degrees, and so it still would have been oh, a difficult round to win. Burn Creek, though, nice nice closeout. That Able to get a third, goes the here. first rifle v rifle round. Get out of my way. But important here. And yeah, all that utility on B really was the, the determining factor. As like you said, all those all three players were on A, but again, it's going to be a fast B take. And players playing down left, right, and center. Secure GM on Zeno with two, two headshots. They are able to get one. Only one left on the attacker side now. She has worked her way into CT, so I'm not sure if they know yet. They she, they will after the first pick, but... Oh, they are checking for a Sova. Dead in Oh, evil to get a second. Oh, oh just not ready for Zeno. It would have been the clutch, but... Zeno closing it out with three, and... Four, 
forth. Yeah, and that was a very good try from that jet, working her way all the way through elbow to CT. And My it didn't ready. look like Burn was expecting that, getting two picks before finally, you know, finishing the round with kill from Zeno. Once again, VC going to opt to put their presence towards A. It does look like they have been able to actually buy going into this round, so once again, rifles versus rifles, so even in terms of weaponry. Okay, Ox is like posted up short. It's gonna have to either get the pick or get the info. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. pretty quiet so far. It does look like Partner knows someone here. Definitely considering it. Now, spots just barely is able to get away. Oh, oh. irregular. Nice shot. Almost looked like they were blind and yet still. Nice tap. Unco, a third for VC. And at this point, this looks like it will be around 4 VC, 2v5 for Burn to retake. Yeah. You're gonna try something. Getting taken out by Sakura. Yeah, that was a nice pick. And. At this point, looks like Cypher's just gonna have to save in spawn. Mm -hmm. Not much that he can do about this round going to VC. Good awareness there from uh, Phoenix to flash out the possibility of that per uh, the player still stay sticking around. He is able to get a camera to get the information so that he won't lose his gun, hopefully. He might not know that they're coming from the side of Hookah. They are chasing him from all sides. <laughs> they're, no, they're not willing to let him get away with the weapon, but... I don't think there will be enough time to hunt him down. Oh, maybe! Oh, and oh. dude, they do get it in the very last second. So, it is a flawless round for VC, and it is a great round to be taking for their eco. That is gonna be devastating a little bit to the side of Burn Creek, right? Their economy, they've been kind of buying into that round, and that round was quite important, right? For both teams, they had rifles, but now VC can start bringing... Uh, building up that economy, perhaps get a few more rounds on the board, and then we'll at least have a 4-4 game. And that way, both teams can have kind of an equal, kind of an equal scoreline, kind of an equal economy oh, to move forward. Nice right. So there. that would Jump this is a, that was an important round for VC to be winning. They needed to win that, and they did. So good work for them. And as we move into the seventh, irregular able to get a headshot right now. Oh, oh, and able to get a equal oh. frag. But, able, but just just as quickly traded out by Sakura Jima. So you can be also able to get one with the Stinger. It is a 3-on-3, three three, but the Fire weaponry planted. heavily favors side of VC, and they do bring it down to 2 versus 3. Seems to have a good idea as to where the other players are. I'm not sure if they know if there's one in that there's one in heaven. Perhaps there are other players checking for that, but Unko seems to have a good idea of where this player is going to be attacking from. They Now they know there's one in heaven. Oh. And Vert is toasted alive. Toasted to a crisp. But Not unfortunately this round right also gonna be toasted to a crisp for Burn Creek. And looks like BC is gonna close their third. They One them up. There is no time, but he is able to get away with the rifle. Will he will it cost him his life? It won't. Oh. Just getting away. Barely. Yeah. Pretty good round for VC. Third on the board. We're, you know, bringing these, the scoreline closer and closer to each other. And once again, looks like both sides will be able to fully buy rifles, so equal weaponry on both sides. And yeah, that was pretty good. Even making sure that, you know, that first player teleporting away to make sure that they're not able to try to make sure that they can't get a free gun. Anyways, going into this next round, looks like a B take. So far, so quiet. Now, Burn does have three alts to be able to try to hold sight. Open up the sky. VC only two, one of them just used to try to clear sight. And yeah, we're gonna see that attacker killjoy, or uh, alt come into play here. Stim beacon down. Fight will go down. It's having a little bit of trouble Fight deciding planted. what utility to throw first. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice shot from Ziki.
right now, just chaos. <laughs> you know, part oh. we're getting toasted in the doorway. <laughs> Toasting again, oh. down to 35. Oh, taken out by Sakura. 1v2. Know the location. Not able to connect any shots so far, but Vert will close out the round. 4-4. Four to four. Yeah, like we said, the economy, that one round, that one really crucial round, and they brought, they brought it to this point, and look at the, uh, look at the Burn Creek economy, right? It's in, it's in shambles, so you can't really pull together a full buy yet. I think if I were in their situation, this is not one I would want to be in, but I would certainly be looking at maybe a, a little bit of a lighter buy, or perhaps even a full save. That way you can get the rifles and the, you, the operators, whatever you want in the latter rounds of the half. As this half gets closer to being drawn to close, and also VC bringing back a couple of rounds, even up the score line. And we see a heavy B lane here. But do keep in mind, they did expend two alts to get into that site, and they did lose a quite a few players, although that's not going to take a huge toll on their economy. There are many alts here for the side of Burn Creek, so, or sorry. Yes, Burn Creek, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the delay take trade, but the Bucky able to ring out and get one to Kurajima dead. Of course, she knows it. Thicks are able to make the eco work for him. Down to 23 health, but does get the first. Doesn't know that oh. Vert is on site. Vert takes it down. Doesn't know that. I'm not sure if they know that there's one long. I believe that he's been taken out, though. There is one trying to wrap in his but... The utility oh. all there to stop her. Reyna now forced to work her way up long. They might be aware of that possibility. Spike planted. And her teammate, the Omen, wrapping through CT. Vert has really low HP though. That Player may be remaining. the only thing working for them. And they do take down the first. So There's very low HP on the, on the remaining player. Let's see if she can close it out. She, oh. And not able to. So, partner, they are able to make the uh, eco, the half by work. Excuse me. That was really surprising. I thought that we would fall short, but they're able to, you know, take the forced weapons and make it work. Yeah, they had a really good site defense there, being able to keep out a fully bought team with a few SMGs. And at the same time, <laughs> making it very expensive for Vancouver College. And it does look like they will be able to buy at least four rifles, maybe a fifth, yeah. Looks like we'll still have rifles and a judge. Interesting. But yeah, we'll have those going into this next round. But that was a pretty crucial round for Burn to win. Getting their economy back on tracking, you know, trying to get closer to that score line that they want going into the next half. If you see going back to their roots and heading towards A, it looks like. Oh, Parma already caught sight of two players, I believe. And the third going to U-Hauls. Ziki will get that pick. They will go! gonna come out. Oh, Sakura besting partner there. And a second! Careful nice now. picks! Going up. Spike, Spike will go planted. down. Joke's over. You're dead. This point, Burn Creek has expended their Phoenix ult to try to get back into sight. Does at least get the info onto the players and all else. Nice oh. pick from Zeki onto Vert. Well, did you expect the second one? Will not, unfortunately. Uncle getting the pick. Down to a 1v3. Zeno. Yeah. However, the spike does continue to tick away. And there are two players alive. Doesn't know Reyna's there. Oh, or Whoa. maybe? It does get the rain at the very least, but unfortunately, looks like the time has ticked off the spike for too long. And this will be VC's round. Yeah, it's unfortunate, isn't it? For the side of Burn Creek, a great time from Zeno. He is a... Could have probably gotten the rain if he had sprayed a little bit longer, didn't have enough time. It was a great guess from him to just spray both sides and hope for the best, but, but his shot's not quite connecting. Do keep in mind the walls take away a lot of that damage, so he wasn't able to quite get the pick. Was able to get it in the end, but at the cost of the round. <laughs> playing a little bit with his molly. Get out of my way! Oh! oh. <laughs> Very quick pick here. Partner Murray able to make the spec to ring out and take the jet out. 
That is their top rank. Uh, that is one of their uh, duelists. So that is to their side. Spring through the wall against Kurojima. But will they expect Ziyuki's position? I'm not sure. Because Rain is also pushing through. Confidence at an all-time high. But the Cypher on himself on B-site spots nothing. So I think he, he might have the incorrect assumption that they might be going low. He's not buying it just yet. He's not yet going going off. He is on the site, so it was going to come to join him. They do know that there's a B-lean at this point. As, whoa. Reyna just look at her behind. I don't know if they know. The spray not quite there, but we're able to close it out now. Reyna and Co. working together to tag team. Close to, taking the site, excuse me. And they are able to get an ult down, so that is going to take away a good 10 seconds of the bomb. Of the spike oh. going down, but it is a 2v2. Partner are able to get one. He advances as soon as the Killjoy, mul uh, the Killjoy ult expires. There are two players here on site, but he does have his, he does have his teammate to work with. Chaos is not able to do too much. I must get these. Oh, oh. oh. great spray through the wall. Connected. Oh, we are able to get the pick, but I believe there should be a close one. Oh, I think that's I believe they've got it. Yeah, they've got it. Wow, what a great retake by Burden Creek, just closing it on the end. <laughs> Four <laughs> seconds left. Four seconds left for their sixth round. Last and I think part of that round is Partmer actually flanked through bathrooms all the way to A shore and basically confirmed that no one was there, so the entirety of Burden Creek was able to just rotate over, given they did lose sight at first, but that was a successful retake. And amazing work from Partmer so far. Very nice. And, you know, so far, this is the match that we wanted. Rounds being traded back and forth. We have no idea who's going to win this match. So, you know, pretty exciting. Last round of half. If VC is going to go towards B. They do have a few SMGs, so a less or less weaponry, sorry. Push in quickly into Hookah. Prepare for hellfire! Spray in case the Bucky is there once again. <laughs> Yeah, you know, happened once, could happen again. Yeah. Oh, and that Phoenix are already very low. Oh, that is all... Nope. Yeah, that oh, is all... Falling, out of sight. Let's get all of his health back. Burn Creek through it, going into Spike a little bit of a... is going to go down. First pick, Mori onto Zeno. Yeah, but watch out for the Sova's position, look at this. This yeah. could be huge, he's onto sight, I don't think they know. Rin's kind of caught out here oh. by himself. They know now. Or do spot, they? They didn't spot it out. They know there's players in Hookah, so if they can take out this broom and maybe get a smoke or something, and the players, um, and players in front of the bomb, maybe that could be the round. But partner were able to get a pick, traded immediately on Anko. Oh, the spray not quite there. Anko going down. Exactly Ziyaki. They are doing what. He's spraying towards the bomb. I don't know if they're, they're able to get it quite yet. Oh no, Zeki with a spray and Parton merge chipping in. Burn Creek with their fifth in the last round of the half, but they are able to close it out with the retake. It's successful. Switching sides. Yeah. Yeah, on to the second half now. This time we do have VC on defender and Burn Creek on attack. Looks like a pretty standard pistol buy so far. So not much else to be, say about that. It's gonna be VC on, in green and Burn Creek in red. Yeah. And you know, this is the game that we wanted, you know, as I said before. We have the teams trading rounds evenly back and forth. So, you know, pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. So far, it looks like Burn Creek is just gonna play default, at least for the first little bit. Trying to get any info possible. Oh, just not gonna expect the cipher. Oh, but turns to the last second, catching sight. Looks like now Burn Creek is actually gonna just try to push B. The fact that only two players here. Oh, unfortunately, oh, regular cool. getting the spike drop, and now able to just come over here second. and yeah, assist, keeping them out of sight, hiding in the smoke. Three. Third. <laughs> Toasting, but and eventually Ooh. bested by Zeno. But all the same, three kills. Powerful hold of the site. Mm. It looks like 
looks like they're just gonna TP over to A, you know, try to get that spike down at the very least, get some money. Going into the next rounds. And at this point the defenders are coming from everywhere. Oh, caught oh Victor, nice shot. Caught out with his cage, but still getting the pick. Mori oh running out of ammo at the worst time. Down to thick door, 1v2. Uh, oh, unfortunately, <laughs> Sakura being able to just turn around and, you know, end him instantly. Yeah, that looks like they're gonna be... be... Looks like they're gonna be able to even this one out. Just pulling rounds back. Looks like they're probably gonna get the, the next round if they decide to invest into this one. And it will likely be a 7-7 scoreline until, unless Burning Creek has something miraculous to show us. But that is what we expected from this game, right? We expected it to be a very close matchup. We expected the individuals to really matter here. And that's what we're seeing. That's exactly what we're seeing. And the fact that Regular is able to get three picks there definitely should have died to the Cypher, right? The Cypher, just un absolutely, that was not his fault. That was unlucky. He is... <clears throat> Excuse me, he was pushing up and uh, sorry, he was trying to catch the uh, push up, but a regular is able to turn around in time and able to actually get away with more health than Cypher. Looks like it's going to be alien, but there are three players here, including Reyna with the Marshall. They could choose at any time to work towards the B site, but right now, Burn Creek also with their investment. VC, surprisingly. Not quite investing as much as I would have imagined. Maybe this is where we see Burden Creek Cover going out. pick up an Smoke's eight. Over. You're dead. Let's see. But Uncle smoked off his line. But pushing through, I don't know if they'll expect this. There's a lot of utility here, but if he gets the timings right in his head, he could peek out. Maybe the first spike. Not sure if they know. We are mollied off. Flash is good, all players are blind. And a flurry of frays coming towards the side of Burn oh. Creek. Origin able to toast one. We've seen two toast kills. And the regular. And the Reyna thrown into a 1v. Oh. Thrown into a 2v4. Great damage, they could go for this. All the Last players are low. Regular. Strong full magic last oh. time, but not able to quite close it out. Yeah, an ace for Burn Creek. That's quite surprising. Yeah, I wonder why VC didn't choose to buy going into that round, because that would have definitely helped them keep out. However, if we actually look at the scoreboard, they do have a few rifles. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe that was their plan all along. They just want to get to rifles as quick as possible to at least, you know, ensure that they're able to keep them out. On the side of Burn Creek, we also have some rifles, along with the SNGs that I believe were saved over from last round. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out for them. Yeah, maybe that was the plan, right? Maybe the plan was to have Burn Creek, you know, they, they get these rifles on the, uh, for VC at least, they get Burn Creek to have these SMGs and they give them the round, but the, that comes at the cost of not being able to invest, invest rifles into the next round, right? So they have a little bit of an edge on weaponry here. Yeah. We'll have to see. No, arrow going in. Jet is posted in hookah right now. Knows that there is at least one player here. Oh, a regular Ooh. two! Before getting traded, however, all the same, great picks to keep them out of hookah, at least for the time being. Instantly down to a 3v4. Ziki gonna push quite aggressively out, reloading in open, and will get caught out by Mori Jin. Chaoxic, nice flank through elbow, catching them off guard. This point, 2v3 for Burn Creek. Oh, barely saw. Phoenix is blinded. Oh, Chaoxic pulling it back to a 1v1. 30 seconds left. Oh, Vert's gonna post on site, just gonna hide here. Oh, and he has actually smoked Vert off. He's not gonna expect this. Oh, if she. If Vert sprays, then it's over. Oh, and Vert gets the final pick. <laughs> Seven on the board. Yeah, and the Aries ringing out there for Vert, and they are able to pull it around back, so... 
yeah, I guess we were wrong. They are that was might might have been the strategy all along. They were able to get the round, so nice stuff nonetheless. But they are down a little bit on the on the funds. They are down a little bit on the eco. One player forced to go with shields and perhaps an SMG, not quite able to afford a rifle. Snuff them out. As Burn Creek looked to get a Brown on the board, but they are an eco. So if they can get that, they can break the economy of VC. That would be massive for them. So the player does get scanned. He has to move away. Mori, that is Mori Jin. Now hiding behind these triple boxes. Cover Coming back to the shower just in time. The regular, hey, another pick towards Zeno. He brings it quickly into a 45, no trade. Oh, and toasting again is sick, dirt. They don't want to give away another Molly kill, do they? All the players back tight here. In the 45. Oh, and there's now a 2v3, right as I say that. Flurry of frag coming in, but they do have the bomb down, so nice guess. Oh, oh. Actually, not a bad guess, but the regular able to close it out with three, and I think that. If he hadn't shot there, they would have considered that position clear. And I think he could have gotten a lot more, uh, a couple more frags if he had just, you know, not shot. But that would have been baiting his teammate. He didn't want to do that, so he shot and not coming out with the best results. Yeah, and a lot of these rounds, Irregular has been very influential in being able to, if not keep them out of sight, at least retake it. There's a yeah. bunch of rounds where Irregular has been able to get those three Ks, which really do help propel the team to win. This time, Burn Creek does look like they may lean towards the A site. At this point, they're just chilling. They have <laughs> no need to go anywhere yet. Joke's over! You're dead! Back drop. So far, just chilling. Looks like VC's gonna push quite aggressively. Does find at least one there. Looks like they might go B. Thick door looking for anyone. Yeah, but look at regular position. Oh, regular could this. get caught by Chaotic. Oh, oh, actually the reverse. Irregular catching Chaotic completely off guard. Suddenly a 4v5. 4v4. Nope. <laughs> As I say that, once again, you know, these players just don't want us to be up to date in our casting, so <laughs> keep us on our toes. Looks like Burn Creek will opt for the A take as three players on the VC side rotate over to B. Only one player here, but he hasn't been found yet. All the players walking Ooh. by him. Spike planted. Oh, oh, get the first, and will he get oh. the second? Careful now. Zeke will pull it back. One enemy remaining. Down to a 1v2. One enemy remaining. Going up. Oh. 1v1. Yeah. Okay, so Sino knows where he is. Gonna molly the bomb at the very least. Mori has to go searching for this. Gets oh. past the flash and just sprays down Zeno. Third for Mori and a ninth round for VC. What a spray! That was wild at best. You know, you could tell he was expecting the player from another position, but able to just read in time and <laughs> picking up the Odin. It's gonna get interesting here as they pull out the Odin once again. It looks like it's gonna be passed over to Vert. We've seen her plays on the Odin and they've been quite magnificent if I, that's the right word. Yeah, I love the I Odin's see. amazing gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should see more of it in pro play. It is really quite a nice gun, especially on the CT side. Oh, this is a lot of information gained by Morijin. He's going to push out into shower. It's going to peak. He's going to see no one. There is a Reyna here for the Lord, but they are going to be committing towards this B take. I'm not sure if he expects the Reyna here. He could be caught with his knife out, but does turn back Zeno using his ult, not not to any prevail. It does trigger the alarm bot, so that is one thing out of the way for the side of oh, Creek as the regular trips in. Oh. 
As he is traded, but Verb with Odin. Oh. We talked about the impact of this player with this weapon, but oh. he can't even get a third. What? <laughs> and quite interesting scenes we can see here as Verb closes out the round with a 3k with Odin. Yeah, Odin is very clearly a very powerful gun. Yeah. And, you know, jokes aside, stat wise, it is pretty good. And it is used by Sinatra in pro play, so you know what? Mm -hmm. It is a viable gun. At this point, Burn Creek is going to be forced to do a half buy, it looks like. Not enough money. It almost looks like they will actually opt to go with SMGs, maybe pistols, some shields. But it will take quite a bit for them to win this round. Secure pushing up quite aggressively. Oh. No, and it will be the irregular actually to find the pick. At this point, they're just pushing very aggressively, trying to clear out sight, and looks like Burn Creek is just pressured into trying to rush A shore. Unco, nice pick onto Zeke. Okay, Octic training back with that SMG. Unfortunately, Spike won't go down. Oh. At this point, 2v4. They are kept out of sight by that Killjoy ult. And at this point, the flanks from Irregular and Secure will come in. And yeah, pretty standard round 4 VC. We did expect them to win that one as they did have that weapon advantage. And Burn Creek able to invest into this one, right? Not too much lost here. They should be able to, you know, maybe if they can get this rifle round on the board, they're very much in the contention to maybe even here. maybe bring it back, maybe bring it to overtime. Not really sure, but anything is possible if they can convert this really important round. If they can't, they'll be thrown onto the back legs for an, for a half buy, and maybe perhaps that'll force them onto to play for overtime. But we'll just have to see. Partner moving up could get caught by this timing. If they both these players need to get the timing right, oh. Oh. even preparing for it, Parton are able to get it. He uses does do her dismiss to oh. get to the other side. It's sprayed out by the Odin, so has to retreat. Rest of her team prompt into a B take, but there is so much killjoy utility here. They need to be careful as they put, throw a Molly into uh, into U-Haul. Sorry, as Vert plays backside with her Odin. That is prompted all of the rotates. If they can get the timing right, and they have, they are quickly moving towards the B site. I'm not sure what that flash was meant to do, but oh, let's get a pink 140. Oh. Oh, Hanko is sweeping up too. One was heavily lit, but still. And VC able to close out the round for so close for them to see if uh, Burns can play for the overtime. Yeah, we're on match point now. Burns gonna have to win four rounds in a row to try to play for overtime. But at this point, after that buy last round, they don't have much money left in the bank. You know, they have two, three Bulldogs, an SMG. Well, at the very least, there'll be Bulldog SMG mix against the full buy of VC. They do have one rifle at the very least on partner, and he's really gonna have to make that count if they want a chance at this. A short smoke going to go down. Once again, VC pushing quite aggressively. Partner already lit down to 79 HP. And Irregular going aggressive. Both players being tagged in the process and secure a nice pick on partner, but is traded by Zeke. Oh, the Odin oh. gets one, but immediately traded by Chaosic. Last bullet. 3v3, but the players on burn are very low. And they might not expect Jet here. In fact, they're gonna get completely distracted by the rotate. Wow, at this point, 2v2. And doesn't see the jet and is caught. Irregular getting that pick onto Xeno and down to Chaos, like only 11 health points. Good blind. Oh, but oh. just barely close Defenders enough to see win. him. Irregular getting the final kill, and that will be VC winning 13 to 8. Wow. What a what a performance from them. Um, yeah, VC's games all really close with. I, the same with the game on Haven, where I always talk about this one, 13-11. They were able to pull it back, taking us the full distance, all 24 rounds. But here, just 
equally as close, right? They were um, really playing it close in the first half. They were, they were neck and neck, but just BC able to hold it, uh, hold their foot down on the gas at the very at the very end and able to kind of close out the game. And for Burn Creek, I think they had, if you look at the stats, right? They had players um, up there. They had individual talent. They had you know individuals stepping up. Even the cipher at the very bottom, he had eight assists, right? That's all information. That's all damage that they're taking. And so for them to be able to kind of put their foot, like, I like to say this, but they put their foot down on the gas for the next couple of games. I think it's important for them to kind of um, look over the strategies a little bit, maybe develop a couple of st strategies for the maps. I know the map picks and the map bans are sometimes can be quite con challenging and confusing against each team. But I think for them to be able to watch some VODs, kind of get a feel of the team that they're playing against, and maybe develop some strategies, I think that the individual talent and the skill of that team can be really enhanced if you know they were just to um, do a little bit of research, maybe like look at the map picks and map bands of the teams and the tendencies of teams to play certain maps. I think that would be really beneficial. I think they could be a, they would be a team to watch. They would be you know undoubtedly one of the best in the tournament. Yeah, adding on to that, you know, watching the VODs, that's very useful for a team. Being able to know whether teams are more aggressive, more passive, what uh, agents they typically like to play, what their defense yeah. usually looks like. Being able to counter the ability usage is one of the most powerful things in this game, since abilities are so prevalent. And yeah, I really hope that some teams do opt to try to, you know, review the VODs, take down notes, make sure that they're able to counter things that their opposing team would usually do. Yeah. And yeah, VC did have a bit of a slow start there. However, as soon as they did get started, they just rocketed off as soon as the second half started. Mm -hmm. You know, not yeah. taking their foot off the gas pedal at all. Yeah, I think that's the tendency with VC, right? If you have a strong kind of mental, if you have a strong kind of mentality, that could be really impactful going forward. And to all your players, If you even if you're going down, you know, 9 to 3 and I bring this back to the Haven match where they were going, you know, 9 to 3 at the half. If you can have players with the mentality to bring be able to bring that back and you know, put aside the negative mentality from whichever half of the game, you can say that you know, this half I got it, I can bring it back. That's going to be super important and that's going to be crucial in winning games like this. So you can see that Burn Creek only able to get uh, one round on the CT uh, on the on their attacker side, and so v Vancouver College just closing it out on the CT side. They were able to you know, get those picks, get that def get those diffuses, get those retakes, and I think that's really important, right? Uh, yeah. For both these teams moving forward, I think that this this game isn't too much of a determinant, right? It's not too it's not too too much of a decisive win. It's kind of. Uh, it's still a little bit 50-50, maybe edging towards the side of VC, but for the most part, I think that both teams need to just take away from this the, the mental game, I think the, the strength of playing in a tournament, and also just the experience, right? The more VODs you have to watch, the better you can prepare for a certain team. Yeah, and um, I really don't have anything else to add on top of that, but just quickly, our next game will actually be tonight at 8 p.m. between Alpha and Camby. And then after that will be tomorrow, 4.30, St. Thomas and VC again, as well as uh, Vantech versus Alpha tomorrow at 8 p.m. Aside from that, that's all, that's it from us. And we hope to see you tonight.